The Red Army Faction, or Rote Armee Fraktion, was a left extremist group operating in West Germany founded in the year 1970 by Andreas Bader and Ulrike Meinhof. In the beginning, the group was also known as Bader Meinhof Group. The roots of the Red Army faction can be seen in the student protest movement in the Federal Republic of Germany. During protests, the German student Benno Ohnesorg was killed by a police officer on June 2nd, 1967. That police officer was acquitted in court and in the early 2000s he was also identified as a member of the East German secret police. In the year 1968, a leader and spokesperson of the movement, Rudi Dutschke, was shot in the head, but he survived. The generation of the student movement criticized the behavior of their parents during the NS time from 1933 till 1945, protested also against capitalism, and also protested against the US imperialism and the Vietnam War. The election of former NSDAP member Kurt Georg Kissinger, he worked in the Federal Foreign Office during the NS times, sparked a fear since he formed a great correlation with the Social Democratic Party that controlled about 90% of the seats in the parliament and added emergency clauses to the German constitution. These circumstances led to the founding of the Außerparlamentarische Opposition, or Extra Parliamentary Opposition in English. The militant forces of the Extra Parliamentary Opposition started to break into several smaller radical groups like the Red Army Faction, the Movement June 2nd, the Revolutionary Cells, and the Red Zora. In the year 1968, Andreas Bader, together with Gundrun Enslin, Torvald Poll, and Horst Zönlein, as part of the student movement, set fire in two department stores in Frankfurt am Main. They were caught by the police and sentenced to three years but were able to avoid imprisonment after they appealed the initial sentence by going in the underground. During this time, Bader, together with his lawyer, Horst Mahler and Gundrun Esslin, decided to found a city guerrilla force. Andreas Bader was once more arrested after the police had been tipped off about his whereabouts. Since there was no official founding of the RAF or Red Army Faction, the freeing of Andreas Bader on May 14, 1970 is viewed as the founding element of the first generation of RAF members. Ulrike Meinhof, under the disguise of wanting to write a book with Andreas Bader, managed to have Bader transported to the Deutsche Zentralinstitut für Soziale Fragen in Berlin. This opportunity was used to free Bader at gunpoint. From June until August 1970, Bader, Enslin, Meinhof Mahler and about a dozen more RAF members spent time in Jordan where they were trained on weapons, explosives and weapon 3 combat to achieve their goals in the Federal Republic of Germany. In the following time, once they returned to West Berlin, the group committed bank robberies and Grand Theft Auto to finance their underground life. By the year 1971, the name and logo of the Red Army Faction first came up once their city guerrilla doctrine paper became public. The West German authorities intensified their efforts to arrest members of the RRF. While attempting to arrest the terrorists, both RRF members and cops were killed as well as uninvolved bystanders. In the following year, the Red Army faction launched its so-called May Offensive, using explosives to attack US troops, German police, the German Bundesgerichtshof, as well as the publisher Axel Springer AG. In the same year, the West German police was able to arrest Andreas Bader, Holger Mainz, and Jan Rasper. Several weeks after these arrests, the police was also able to catch Gundrun Enslin and Ulrike Meinhof. 
By June 1972, the entire first generation leaders of the Red Army faction had been caught. While being imprisoned, the Red Army faction leaders were placed repeatedly in isolation. As a protest, they went on hunger strikes, which even caused the death of Holger Mainz on November 9, 1974. The second generation of Red Army faction leaders, which was controlled and led by the first imprisoned generation, tried to blackmail the West German state to release their leaders. In 1975, Red Army faction members kidnapped the politician Peter Lorenz. West Germany released prisoners in exchange for him. Only three months later, the left extremist terrorists took hostages in the German embassy in Stockholm, Sweden. This situation ended without an exchange after two diplomats had been killed and explosives went off by accident, causing the building to catch fire. During what would be known as the German Autumn, the terror acts against the Federal Republic of Germany peaked. After bankers and judges had been shot to death earlier in the year 1977, the RAF kidnapped Hans Martin Schleier. He was the president of the Confederation of German Employees Association and killed three of his bodyguards as well as his driver on September 5th. With this kidnapping, the RAF tried once more to blackmail the West German state to release imp the imprisoned first generation leaders. But the government, under the leadership of Helmut Schmidt, decided against it. He even left notes for the government in case he or his wife would be kidnapped not to agree to an exchange with the Red Army faction. To increase the pressure on the West German government, a Palestine Terror Command of Four hijacked the German Lufthansa aircraft Landshut and had it uh, pilot over multiple destinations to Mogadishu in Somalia. At this location, a German special unit, the Grenzschutzgruppe 9, or GSG 9, freed all hostages and killed three of the four terrorists. This event led to the Stammheim Death Night. Stammheim was the location where the Red Army faction members had been imprisoned. Andreas Bader and Jan Rasper shot themselves with pistols that had been smuggled to them by their lawyers, and Gundrun Enslin hung herself. Hans Martin Schleier was murdered by the group and placed in a trunk of a car. During the next four years, more bombings against US military personnel and equipment took place, as well as robberies. By the year 1984, the most important members of the second generation of Red Army faction leaders had been arrested. The third generation of Red Army faction leaders is hardly known. Only Wolfgang Grams and Birgit Hogefeld can be safely counted as commanders of this generation. 20 members and about 250 supporters were assumed by the West German authorities. Between 1985 and 1993, they committed 10 more murders. On April 20th, 1998, the Red Army faction officially dissolved itself. German police is still searching for some murderers of the third generation of the Red Army faction. Thank you so much for watching.